Okay, okay, you are welcome. My name is Omben Golivin Moshi. I'm a teacher. I'm teaching at a certain secondary school, government school, advanced level. I want to present some tutorials for you about physics subject. So get it prepared. And we are going to begin with Form 5 topics. Okay, in Form 5, we have four subtopics, four main topics. In Form 5, we have four main topics. So, Form 5 topics, which are main. The first one. The first main topic in Form 5 known as Mechanics. And this first topic of Form 5 has subtopics. It has 10 subtopics. The first subtopics of Mechanics known as Errors and Dimension. Errors and Dimensions. The second one is Newton's laws of motion. Laws of motion. And so on until you reach 10 subtopics. Or I can mention them first. The third one is projectile motion. The fourth one is simple harmonic motion. The fifth one is is surface tension the six is gravitation the seventh is rotational dynamics number eight is fluid mechanics number nine number nine number nine number nine is the strength of material strength of material as you can see here But be in mind that in mechanics we have 10 subtopics. Okay, the second topic in form 5 known as wave. Wave. The third one is heat. Or in other name we call it thermo energy. And the last one, main topic for Form 5, is static electricity. Static electricity. Oh, we call it electrostatic. Electrostatic. So all these are Form five topics, main topics, which you are supposed, which you are supposed to cover them when you are in form five. So we are going to begin with the first topic, which is mechanics. As I said, in mechanics we have ten subtopics. We are going to look with the first subtopic up to the last. But in this tutorial, which is my first tutorial on YouTube, today I'm going just to show you the meaning of mechanics or to tell you the meaning of mechanics. Mechanics is a branch of physics. It means it's the part of physics which deals with the study of forces. It means you're going to study force with their impact together. I hope we are clear until there with the study of forces and motion. You, you, you will not study only about forces, also you will study about motion and their relationship and how they relate. It means we are going to look the relationship in mechanics. We are going to look, we are going to study about forces and motion and how these two relate 
the relationship between forces and motion. That is the mechanics. We are going to study about the forces, I repeat again, branch of physics, which deals with the study of forces and motion and how they relate or oh, the relationship between forces and motion, that is the mechanics. I hope you are aware with force. Force simply, simply means pull or push. That is force. A simple definition of force. But when you pull or you push an object, it tends to move if it was at rest. So that is the one of the impact of force. If it was at rest, it will move. If it is in motion, it will stop. Or if it will not stop, it will continue to be in motion, but it will change direction. All these are three impacts of force. I mean, when you apply a pull or a push to an object, that is a simple definition of force. How about motion? Motion means changing of position. That is a motion. Motion means changing of position to move from one point to move from one point to another. That is a motion. So in mechanics, we are going to look relationship between forces and motion in all 10 parts of mechanics or in all 10 subtopics of mechanics we are going to look relation of forces and the motion i hope now you have understood simple concept about the mechanics so in next tutorial we will begin or we shall begin with first subtopic of mechanics which is errors and dimensions so you are most welcome to my channel for more tutorials concerned with physics especially advanced level physics you are most welcome to my channel wait for me in the next tutorial thank you